What's up, everybody? This is Eric Creed Harry, and I'm here today with another quick update. So as you know from the last video, I dug a trench, and the soil was very shallow. I didn't have anywhere near six to eight feet of depth. So I'm going to have to work with what I have here. So maximum depth is like two feet, uh, one to two feet on that side, and over here it goes down to about three feet deep. And I made this area wider because the tubing will be curving here. And I don't want the pipe to be kinked. I want it to have a nice little curve so you have good airflow. So what I've decided is I'm going to use Aircrete as an insulator and cover the tubing with it. So what I have in mind to do here is to place... The tubing will get placed into the trench. Then it will be covered with soil. I will first manually take the rocks and put it around and in between the tubing so that I don't uh, just use the excavator and drop the rocks on it. So I'm going to gently place the rocks because I did have a concern of the sharp edges of the rocks being directly on the tube. Now I know usually every time I see this done, they always have some other gravel that they cover the tubes with. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this as inexpensively as possible and as efficiently as I can. So with what I have to work here as far as soil depth, I'll be grabbing these tubes Oh, and one other thing you don't see here that will go in the ground first. Uh, some uh, PEX tubing. I'm thinking three quarter inch to one inch. I want about 300 feet that I'll coil and it'll go on the ground first. And on top of that, I'll put this tubing. The PEX tubing is there for another experiment that I'm doing where I'll pump water through it and the idea is for the water to get the temperature of the earth the geothermal energy and that water would circulate through a radiator like an aluminum radiator that 52 degree temperature water hopefully will uh, be a, di a difference the difference between the water and the outside ambient temperature should cause condensation to occur just the same as your air conditioners create condensation you always get that dripping of water so the idea is i have a little five volt pump pumping water through all the time and co collecting the condensation now i know there are machines out there that'll make thousands of gallons of water a day from the air um, this is as low tech as I can possibly do it and I believe it would work definitely if I had the eight feet of soil I guarantee it would work but now to finish what to finish with the idea here once the tubing is down and everything's been covered up with soil on top of the tube just as these four tires are down the entire length of the trench I'll have these tires on top of the soil. You know, the tube will be under the dirt. And right above the tubing, in this same configuration, will be tires going four wide the entire length. Now, this tire on this side will be um, right next to this tire will be the wall. So it'll be a tire wall that I'm building the greenhouse from. So it's it's gonna be uh, like a earth ship type construction where I'm using tires, but I'm not manually pounding them. I'm using a mechanical concrete system and it's mechanical concrete is when you remove the side walls, the two side walls from a tire um, and then you fill it with soil. It gets super strong and, and all the tires get nailed together. So I'll be um, placing my row of tires for the greenhouse 
uh, structure, nailing them together, filling them with soil, compacting them, and building in that fashion. So that's the idea for the greenhouse. This is to insulate. So these tires will then be filled with aircrete. And uh, the entire length will have tires. I'm thinking I may fill half with soil. It'll be half soil and then the rest aircrete. So about three inches of aircrete, three to four inches of aircrete in each tire, the entire length of the greenhouse. And the idea is I'm making an aircrete blanket. And hopefully it'll keep the, uh, the ground from freezing and I can continue to get the geothermal energy from the earth and make it happen that way. So if this works, this will be a new way of doing it. Just another way of doing it. I'm not going to say less expensive because I'm not sure exactly how much cement I'm going to need to make aircrete to fill this. I haven't done these calculations yet. But if somebody out there wants to do it, feel free. The tubing is 100 feet long. The greenhouse will be 100 feet long. I changed my mind. It's not going to be two separate greenhouses. It's going to be one long greenhouse. And um, so you figure these tires, 100 feet of them times four, and then four inches of aircrete is what I would need so we can kind of guesstimate how much material and cost it'll be to make an air creep blanket to cover the tubing anyway that's that's the idea so tomorrow I'll be playing uh, laying the PEX tubing this tubing covering it and starting the tire uh, setting up the tires because um I have to remove the side walls. So I have a machine that's for removing the side walls of the tires. So I'll be using that, removing these side walls and placing this grid of tires over the tubing that'll be under the soil here. So anyway, that's it for now. This is Eric Harry. I got some other really cool projects coming up. Oh, and the majority of the build for this project is going to be on my off-grid dome living channel off-grid dome living is where i'll have the full version of what i'm doing here with the excavator and everything that's it for now peace out catch you later